Hey everybody, it's me, Gregor Manorino. How are you today? It is Monday, June 20th, 2016. People, in this video, I am going to make some pretty outrageous uh, claims, but I believe you're going to understand that what I am saying may have a lot of truth to it. Uh, let's start off with this. As I am doing this video blog, there is some kind of an unnatural um, market rally around the world. Um, overnight, we saw stock futures go through the roof. Again, markets around the world are, are in full-blown uh, rally mode. Uh, and if you turn on the mainstream, they're going to tell you it has something to do with this whole uh, Brexit thing. Uh, the polls are about dead even. There's a lot of speculation that Brexit is not going to happen, and this is what's driving the markets. I don't even want to talk about this Brexit thing, um, but what I do want to talk about is this, again, almost supernatural occurrence in the markets right now. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, as I am doing this video blog, is up over 200 points um, lately, and it's no secret to, to anyone, um, we've been hearing from some of the biggest and most powerful money managers on the planet who are warning uh, about this stock market. Uh, they keep talking about a, a massive pullback, even a crash, uh, and a total meltdown. I mean, these are some of the biggest guns on Wall Street. Now, despite that, again, we're seeing this, I don't know another way to put it, this almost like supernatural rally here around the world, uh, despite warning signs from the bond market, warning signs from, again, some of the biggest names on Wall Street. So what's going on here? I don't know how many of you um, are familiar with the term dark pools. Um, just Google dark pools. I'll summarize what that is just real quick here. Um, these are private exchanges. Dark pools are private exchanges, meaning they're not um, available to the general public to trade on. These are mostly used by institutional in investors um, who, who, who want to hide what they're doing. Uh, again, there's no transparency here. This is what I believe is occurring right now. And again, just bear with me. At this point, I have no doubt whatsoever that world central banks are using dark pools to actually buy securities to keep this market propped up. Now, I know this sounds kind of insane. Maybe, you know, there's going to be some feedback here. Greg is crazy. There's no way this is going on. How would we even know? Again, these dark pools, there's no way for you or me or anyone to see what's occurring there. Now, what do we know for a fact is happening? I mean, this is not a conspiracy. World central banks are literally printing cash out of thin air to buy bonds with it, buying government bonds. Now, the ECB is buying corporate debt as well. So why not, why would they not do this? Why would they not resort, resort at this point to propping up this market, again, using a mechanism unavailable to the public with no transparency, these dark pools, to buy stocks? It's the only thing I can imagine um, that is causing this supernatural action here in the market. And we've seen this time and time again. I've been very reluctant to actually publicly say that I believe this is happening, but I've been thinking about it for quite a long time. And after this action in the stock market around the world, which began, yes, you know, in, in the overseas markets, has now bled off here to the U.S. markets. I cannot imagine another scenario that is unfolding. Again, let's put this into a perspective. Uh, despite some of the biggest guns on Wall Street warning about this and warning about that, Greg Manorino warning about this. Again, we're getting this unnatural move in the market. Now, I talked about how institutions use computer algorithms to trigger their trades. We started seeing this in the overnight futures markets. And again, it just seems so unnatural to me. And why do you believe these dark pools actually exist? 
um, again, it's to hide things like this. Why would world central banks, please comment, why would world central banks not use this as a tool to prop up the markets? I mean, they've already taken over the largest part of this market by exponents. That is the debt market. They're artificially suppressing this, creating this environment of risk. Look, um, in my opinion, and I would believe in yours too, uh, honestly, the Federal Reserve, World Central Banks, the ECB, you name it, you name one, is using these dark pools to buy securities. Um, and, and, and again, I can't imagine this not occurring at this time. Why would not? Why would they not do this? They've already taken over the debt market in every every manner, uh, humanly and inhumanly possible. Why would they not buy stocks directly using dark pools? Anyway, I would love to hear from you. This is what I think is going to supernatural, unnatural uh, move here with the global uh, uh, stock markets around the world. Is just not normal uh, in this environment at this point. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm very curious. With that said, I will see you all soon. Over now.